In the name of Allah, the most gracious and the most merciful students, we discussed about uh, the food chain and how it's a pathway from which energy is uh, transferred from one organism to another, starting from the sun to the to the to the plants that are producers, then to the primary consumers that are herbivores, grass-eating one, then to the secondary consumer that can be both eating animal and plant, like omnivores or like a carnivores who just eat meat. The, they were the secondary consumer, then it passed to the tertiary consumer. Now today we are going to talk about the tertiary consumer, who are they, and how they are different from uh, the, from secondary consumer, and what are decomposers, and why they are important in our ecosystem. So, the first thing we have to do is to read the definition of tertiary consumer, which says, a tertiary consumer is an animal that obtains its nutrition by eating primary consumers and secondary consumers. Usually tertiary consumers are carnivores predators, although they may also be omnivores, which are animals that feed on both meat and plant material. So they are saying that the tertiary consumer can be eating primary consumer and can eat secondary consumer as well. It, 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 they are trying to say that they can, be eat, they can eat herbivores as well and they can eat um, the, the carnivores as well. So they can eat both. And they are predators, but they can be omnivores as well. So uh, let's see what are the differences between them. So primary, secondary versus tertiary. So the primary consumers, the organisms that feed on primary producers. The organisms that feed on primary producers. Primary producers are the plants. So these animals feed on the producers. They feed on plants. They are herbivores actually. Now secondary consumers are the one that feed on these primary consumers, the, they feed on herbivores. Then the tertiary consumers are the one that obtain their nutrition by eating primary consumer or secondary consumer mode. So they can eat this one and they can eat this one as well. Uh, the primary consumers are herbivores whereas the secondary one can be carnivore, uh, meat eating and can be omnivore, both eating animals. Then you have this tertiary which says it as apex predators. Well, predators are the one who hunts or in Urdu we call them shikari. So apex predators are the top carnivores. For example, the examples of uh, the top carnivore or apex predators are killer whale, tiger, wolf, polar bear, jaguar, cheetah, um, a whale shark and uh, Crocodile. These are the few examples that we know and we, we know about these animals. So I'm giving the examples of those that we already know. So they are the animals who are top carnivore and uh, they are also known as apex predators. Obtain energy from primary producers, of course, energy that is produced by the plants by the process of photosynthesis and using sunlight is gained by these primary consumers as when they eat it, they are getting the energy from them. So they get energy from the plants and then they get energy from them, the primary consumer, and they get energy or obtain energy either from primary or secondary. They can get it, eat them and get energy from them. They can eat them and can get energy from them. We get exam we got examples that um, the rabbits consuming grass, or I can say that a primary consumer eating producers, get it? F examples, foxes consuming rabbits, I can say secondary consumers eating primary consumer. Examples, eagles consuming foxes, tertiary consumer eating secondary consumer. Well, they can eat primary as well. So that's the difference between them. So this is a pathway, a chain that is going to tell you how they are all dependent on each other. For example, sun is giving energy to the plants. They make their own food. That is why we call them producers. And they are eaten by the herbivores, which are primary consumers, the first one to get energy from the producers. We call them herbivores. And they give this food or are eaten by the secondary consumer. They can be carnivore, only eat meat eating, or they can be omnivore, or both. they can eat both. And then it uh, goes to the tertiary consumer, the top carnivore. I have given you few examples of them. So this is how it is. But if I eliminate uh, one of them, the whole chain will be disturbed. For example, if I eliminate producers from this chain, what will this herbivore eat? If there will be no herbivore, what will this, these guys will eat? 
there will there will be nothing for them to eat if uh, they will not be there then oh, on who, uh, on whom will this tertiary will feed so they all are very important for each other and eliminating any one of them might disturb the whole food chain that is why we call it a food chain where everybody is important to each other here are examples of tertiary consumers big cats eagles great white shark now the decomposers well as students you might be thinking that can an animal be both a secondary and tertiary consumer can it be this one is pretty easy humans bear catfish are all examples of a species that are primary secondary and tertiary consumer for example a lion can be both a secondary and a tertiary consumer so a single organism can come in both categories it can be secondary it can be tertiary it depends who eats who okay back to the decomposers decomposers are the one who break down something we'll just uh, uh, read the definition decomposers feed on the remains of other on animals what are the remain that it might be their body part or it might be their excretory material it might be their dead bodies so they are the one who depend on the who feed on the remain of other animals decomposer play an important role in the ecosystem by digesting dead matter they put nutrients back into the soil making them available to producers now there it is we often think that carnivores are the villains in in the ecosystem they just go and eat other herbivores while herbivores are very innocent and they are always eaten by someone but the truth is when carnivore will die it will be eaten or decomposed by these decomposers and once their body completely mixed with the soil and all, uh, a plant will grow from that soil and then this plant will feed the herbivore this is how balance it is how um, all of this is balanced carnivore not only eat the herbivore but it also provide food to the herbivore when it dies so it's a balanced ecosystem and this is how all this is balanced there are a few examples of decomposers worms mushrooms insects bacteria so we learn about the food chain and what's in a food chain a food chain uh, is composed of three uh, components one was producers the plants we can make their own food then consumers we learn about three types of consumer uh, consumers primary secondary and tertiary primary the herbivore secondary the 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 the, the omni and the carnivore and then the tertiary that are the top carnivore which are not eaten by anyone else then the last one is decomposer and everything that dies goes to the decomposer it decomposes it and it is very important for an ecosystem if there will be no decomposer then there will be dead bodies all around us so this is how much it is important and this is how all of this is balanced thank you this is the end of this chapter unit 2 lesson 2